the late 70s and early 80s, back in India, we used to have black and white television. And I watched the great Martina Navratilova playing against Chris Evert. And all the other players were mostly baseliners. But the brand of tennis that Martina Navratilova played was fast, was creative, was energetic, was physical, was mentally, you know, pushing her, her, her body and her mind to do things that the other players weren't doing. And I was like, man, she's cool, she's so different. And Martina Navratilova is the reason I started serving in volume. I then learned that by watching Navratilova play tennis on the television off a reflection of a mirror, I could see her playing the same technique right-handed. And that's how I learned. Coming and growing up from a country like India, I had to think out of the box. In 2001 at the US Open, five minutes before the sign-in for the mixed doubles was happening, I did not have a, a mixed doubles partner. And I was thinking to myself, I'm number one in the world in doubles and I don't have a mixed doubles partner five minutes before the sign-in closes. And in comes Martina Navratilova barging through those front doors and taps me on my shoulder and says, you are going to play mixed doubles with me. I just kind of nodded my head and said, kind of, yes, ma'am. So in that, I took the back seat and I played the support cast. I played the solid partner. I played a role that was very different to what my natural instincts were, where I just gotten every first serve, I gotten every return, I was the solid partner, I took the baseline more, I covered her lobs more, but she took the pride of place which was at net with her magical instincts. And we won Wimbledon in 2003. After all those many years in the late 70s and early 80s to watch Martina win all those famous Wimbledon titles, to then win one with her was just spectacular. But by far Martina Navratilova is the greatest inspiration any human being can have.